Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of Finding Our Adventure. We are at Hannah's parents in Yorkshire at the moment because, as we said in the last episode, we've come all the way up here to pick up Tia and Skye. And we're actually going to head all the way back down south again today to take them to the vets tomorrow. But we'll tell you more about that later on and we're going to get packing the van now and we will get on the road. Hmm. Did you miss us? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look like she does. She's had a great time, haven't you? Yeah. You want to get down? And Sky. Have you had fun with the doggy? And boom. <laughs> so this is Jessie. This is my family dog. And she's getting a bit of an old girl now. But she really likes the cats. And her and Sky have become good friends. Well, Sky's a bit of a bully. Sky will just come up to Jessie and like play with her. And Jessie kind of doesn't really want to play. <laughs> but you like the cats, don't you? Just need to put a little bit of oil in the engine before we leave because it's on the uh, the low level. But I think it's okay. But we're just going to top it up a little bit anyway. If I can find how to do it. In you go. <laughs> She's like you want to go back to Grandma and Granddad's? <laughs> She's like, no. That's right, it's your home. Okay, so we're just about to set off and we've actually made a few van upgrades in the last couple of months that we haven't shown you yet. So later on we'll show you all of those upgrades that we've made to make our life a little bit more comfortable in the van, especially throughout winter because obviously there's less power in the winter, less sun. So we've made a few upgrades to make our work situation a bit more comfortable. But first let's get on the road, get back down south and then we'll show you all those upgrades. Good morning everybody. We made it back last night to my mom's house ready for the vets for Tier and Sky this afternoon. But before we do that, we're actually doing a little bit of maintenance on the van this morning. We've got a few little tiny rust specks in the paint around um, the sills of the van that we're just grinding back and then we're going to give a bit of a spray coat just to make sure it doesn't any rust anymore. And we're just going to make sure we're on top of it. It's not a major issue, but I'll show you what you're doing now. The first thing I've done this morning is clean a nice big patch here that I need to rub down and we're going to stick a um, UK sticker on the back of the van for future adventures. And then if we come round here, you can see where I've just been working this morning, just to start grinding back these little rust specks that were appearing here. And there's also a few you can just see here. So I'm just gonna grind back all of those, and then I'm gonna spray it all, and then it's a few more around the edge of the van. So probably take a few hours to do that, maybe a couple of days just to get the right amount of um, layers of paint. But once we're done with that, that should last us and should protect the van for a lot longer. So this afternoon we are off on a little errand to get the cats their animal health certificate which allows them to go into Europe. So we are taking them to the vets and um, they're going to have to probably get some jabs uh, and rabies jabs. So um, the poor girls are probably going to be a little bit frightened that we've got them in their cat carriers at the moment. Tia's definitely caught on to what's going on was very grumpy about getting in the bag <laughs> but um, yeah we're on our way now and uh, hopefully it's all gonna be sorted and then we have to go back in a few weeks time don't we to get, get the actual certificate so today is just getting them all ready to get the certificates and then we have to go back and get the certificates so um, yeah hopefully it's all straightforward Just got back home from the vets. Both Tia and Sky did really well. Tia's um, 
current microchip had stopped working so he was taking ages to try to find it and then he had to um, implant a new one in her so she didn't like that too much but they are both had their rabies jabs, they've both been checked over by the vets, they're all good to go and we just got to go back next month to have the health certificate issued and then we can go on some more adventures which we'll update you with about in a few weeks time, we will leave that till later but yeah all good, cats are all healthy and they've all been passed pretty much so in a few weeks time we should be able to get their certificates and all is good. Good morning everybody, so we have spent the morning doing some editing and blog writing and we are now on our way for me to go and get my Covid booster jab and um, but that's because over Christmas I got Covid so I wasn't able to get my booster then when Johnny got his so we're off on our way now for me to get mine. And we've been, the last couple of days we've been working on a few jobs in the van that we've been putting off for quite a while. Uh, just haven't had the time so we have been um, I've been carpeting one of the bits in the kitchen uh, and yesterday the glue wouldn't really stick properly because it's been so cold here um, in England it's been maybe one degree Celsius um, I think it's been zero on a couple of days and definitely at night time so th things have been really hard to dry in the van uh, Johnny has also been just kind of filing down some of the rust patches and covering it with hammerite paint to hopefully help it to stop doing any more rust. So um, Johnny did that yesterday and it took a long long time to dry um, so we are going to wait until the temperatures pick up a little bit more. So apparently by the end of this week I think the temperatures will get a bit better um, so we will do that another time again. <laughs> Good morning everybody. It's been a couple of days since we last filmed. We were doing some van maintenance where we left you off and um, we managed to finish most of that. We didn't get all the painting done because the weather's just been too cold and the paint was getting really like gloopy and sticky so it just wasn't working very well. But I did manage to finish around the um, sill of the door where I was doing which is good so that's all protected again and looks really good. Um, but then I've been sitting on YouTube for the last couple of days looking at painting the whole van so um, Hannah's been trying to persuade me for the last few months and then I've been researching into it so who knows, this van might even be a different colour in a few months time, but it seems like a really big job, so we might not do that just yet. Look what I got. <laughs> you know you like bread, don't you? So the next part of our plan is we've got about three weeks now before the, vet, uh, the cats have to go back to the vets to get their animal health certificate signed off. Um, so they've had all of their rabies jabs, as you saw earlier in this video. And what we're doing is we, we need to kind of stay around well close by we don't want to drive we were thinking of going to Cornwall maybe again but for three weeks to go there and then back it's it's quite a long way and it's gonna be quite a, a lot of effort so we've been looking at places that we can go for the next few weeks until they go to the vets and we've decided to go to the Cotswolds so this morning we're on our way to the Cotswolds we've got loads of activities planned and we're gonna have an amazing couple of weeks before we have to go back to the vets and look how tidy this van is yeah we've kept on top of the tidiness because since the cats have been back in here as well things get messy quite quickly and they need places to chill out so yeah we're being more disciplined <laughs> We've just arrived in Burford in the Cotswolds. It's our first destination. It's a beautiful little town, but we're going to put some food on now because we've had a long day. We haven't eaten today, so we're going to make some dinner and then we're going to get up nice and early and explore the town. Hannah's on food duty. What are you making us? Yeah, we're having a very late lunch, um, but we're having soup and bread. We've got some really nice bread from the bakery and we've got chunky soup. Oh yeah, I'm working hard. <laughs> It's 4.30 and it's just starting to get dark at the moment. We realise we've run out of milk, so I've just sent Johnny off on a mission to go and find some. Just got back from the shop. It's a really pretty town that we're going to show you around tomorrow. And I've just got some milk to make some yummy hot chocolates because it's starting to get cold again this evening. And yeah, we're just going to settle down, do a little bit of work, and then we'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. I'll try not to spill it on the bed. 
I've made a bit of a mess this evening because I have cooked up some fajitas, which is one of our favourite meals. We love Mexican food and it is one of our regular dishes that we make in the van. So I am going to show you quickly what I've made. So we have got uh, chicken, red peppers, uh, guacamole, which I made fresh, and also a salsa, which I think you pronounce pico de gallo? No, I don't even know. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna try. So yeah, so I've made everything fresh apart from the wraps and the fajita seasoning. I need, I want to have a look at making like some spices and things myself. So that is on my list of to do. But for now, we are going to eat. <laughs> So I've made lots of washing up and the cats are now active. This is their main time of day where they just run around because they know that we're going to be settling in bed. <laughs> so they make the most of it and we're now going to enjoy our dinner. Good morning. So last night we stayed at Burford um, but we realised that we could only actually stay in that free car park for 12 hours within the 24 hour period. So we've got up this morning and we've driven to Borton on Water and we've been here before and it's a beautiful little village with the water, the river running right through the town and the sun has actually come out even though it's supposed to be cloudy and we think that we're going to get quite a nice quiet day because normally this place is packed with tourists but it's winter and it's midweek so fingers crossed it's going to be nice and quiet for us. <laughs> If you remember um, our Dartmoor vlog, Hannah was really desperate to go to a pottery in um, Dartmoor but it was actually closed for the whole of the time that we were there. Yeah. So we've just found this Cotswolds pottery um, shop and Hannah's had her pottery fix now. <laughs> yeah it's pretty pretty and well we kind of said didn't we that when we moved into the van we quite liked the idea of maybe getting some pottery from the places that we visited. Um, but our van is pretty full at the moment so. We haven't done it yet have we? No, we haven't done it yet. And the the, the um, mugs in there are really pretty. They're like these speckledy white ones with like um, kind of clay bottom. And then there's like some really nice like duck egg blue ones, which is like one of my favorite colors. But um, yeah, something to think about maybe. these things, I don't know what they're called. The pink, green and yellow sweets. <laughs> So the Cotswolds is an area of outstanding national beauty and what you'll find when you come here is that all the stones are this beautiful honey golden colour and what makes it that colour is the actual limestone, it's a Jurassic limestone. <laughs> There's lots of things that you can do here in the village, so there is a model village and you can come in through this way. We're not actually going to go in today, but I've been appreciating these, um, they look like old little scale things, like model scales where you put the money in and they obviously do something exciting and entertaining. <laughs> There's also a model railway. So we just found out that the model railway is permanently closed and it's for sale, so you can't visit the model railway, sorry. There is still lots of tea rooms and restaurants to come and visit though, so even though you can't do the model railway, you can come and eat lots. Yeah, and there's a bakery, there's lots of bakeries, um, cafes. And little shops as well. Yeah. There is also the Cotswold Motoring Museum, which has lots of classic and vintage cars that you can come and visit if that's your thing. And another really good, exciting thing to do here in the summer is you can take your shoes off and you can wade through the water. They even have like a rubber duck race. 
we've just made it back to the van and the cats and we've had a lovely time walking around Bolton on water um, we paid for a couple of hours um, here at the car park and it cost us three pounds I think so um, yeah really nice and we definitely recommend just walking along um, the river there that just runs through I think it's called Windrush River and it's just lovely just walking along there there's lovely little footbridges you can walk over and just a really nice setting so would definitely recommend going and visiting Bolton on the water. So our next stop we're gonna go and find a National Trust site which is just about 10 minutes away I think it is so we're gonna head there now and have some lunch. We've been so lucky with the weather today it's been sunny and that has been great because when things in the van in winter it takes ages for them to dry so I've put our tea towels in the front and they're now completely dry which is great and it's also great for our solar panels so we've got some nice solar coming in here so we've got three amps coming in so which so, is pretty good in winter yeah it's better, it's better than it has been over the last few weeks yeah, so when there's sun, we are very happy. We've just arrived at U Penn Barn, which is a National Trust car park, and it's part of the Sherborne estate, I think, and there's lots of lovely walks that you can go from this point, so maybe we will take the cats for a walk later, but we're going to have some lunch now and just enjoy the sun. So I just put my head out of the skylight just to have a look around and look who I found. Girls! <laughs> Sky, are you ready to go outside? pretty windy this afternoon and we've just taken the cats out of the van for a little walk and um, Sky really doesn't like it she's not used to being outside um, Tia is a little bit she's much better but she she still wanders around not too bothered by it but um, yeah we haven't got further than the car park so <laughs> so we might put them back in a minute and um, go for a longer walk so we've just put the cats back in the van and we just started our walk along um, around Sherborne Estate which is owned by the National Trust and it looks beautiful there's lots of um, trees and arable fields so we're just going to go for a wander whilst the sun's still out <laughs> We're just walking through a woodland at the moment and it's so beautiful we just um, spoke to a lady and she just uh, pointed out to us that at the moment the sun is hitting all of the tops of the trees and it's all golden and um, she said that like normally in a woodland you wouldn't look up but um, yeah we can't stop looking up now as well because all the trees are just swaying in the wind and uh, we're hoping that no branches fall on our heads We have had just a lovely walk around the Sherborne estate and it's been beautiful weather and really quiet as well and um, we've seen quite a few deer hiding in the trees and uh, the bird song as well is just so beautiful as the sun's just about to set so we're going to make our way back to the van now and probably make some dinner in a bit Good morning everybody. We had a lovely peaceful night's sleep at our little farmyard parking spot last night 
and I think we're going to head back to Burford this morning because we ran out of parking time there yesterday so we're going to go back then we're going to be able to have a look around the town we've also got a few van chores to do this morning as well so we've got to find a place to empty our toilet because that's getting pretty full and we don't want that to overfill because that'd be a disaster so yeah we're going to have a nice little quiet morning we've just been getting up had some breakfast and then we're going to hit the road now these were our friendly neighbours last night they uh, didn't make too much noise actually and they all kind of shelter behind this wall so um yeah, they've been really cute. There's not many of them, but there's a few like babies with them as well, and they're really fluffy, and they, um, they're really friendly, so when we come and poke our head around the wall, they come right up to the wall, so that's good fun. Good morning. It was so nice this morning. The sunrise was like all pink and orange, but now it's all gone. Ah. <laughs> good morning. They have such fluffy heads. <laughs> <laughs> we've just made it back to Burford and we've done all of our chores this morning so we've managed to empty our toilet we've also cleaned the cat's litter tray which is always <laughs> good so both of us all have fresh toilets ready for the next few adventures yep. and so we're just going to head off into Burford now have a little look around and then we've got something exciting planned for the next couple of days <laughs> just made onto the high street and it's a really pretty town but the road is quite busy so that does have a little bit of a drawback to the Burford itself but it still is very very pretty here. There's lots of little streets that come off the main road though so you can get to experience all the lovely little quaint um, houses and bits and pieces so there are nice bits too. So Burford is really lovely. It's got quite a busy main road that goes through it because there's lots of cars parked on either side, but you can get away from the busy road. There's lots of little side streets and like little alleyways you can find and just kind of explore down. And um, there's lots of really nice shops. You can have a look at cafes and little farm shops as well. And there was a cheese one that, I, that caught my eye, so I want to go and have a look at it. pork pie <laughs> so uh, I said to Hannah the other day I've been craving one because we had some really good ones in Yorkshire a few weeks ago well a few months ago now and then we just saw these massive pork pies so we'll tuck into that later so we're just making our way back to the van but one of the other things I forgot to mention about Burford is that they've got lots of places to eat there's lovely tea rooms and lots of pubs as well so you won't be struggling to find places to eat here so over the winter months we have made a few updates to our van and it's just helped make our van feel a little bit more homely and bring some of those home comforts that we have missed since we've moved into the van. So I'm just going to show you all, some of the things that we've added and one of the first things that I would like to show you that I am very proud of are these curtains that I made myself. <laughs> and. Um, they didn't take too long to make to be fair it took me a day to make these and um, it just gives a little bit of extra privacy from the seat cab area into the the back of the van so when we park up somewhere now we can literally just pull them across like this and it just gives it's a nice bit of privacy because these two windows here are tinted and um, it just yeah you can just come and sit and chill in this bit another thing that we've added to our entertainment um, uh, system in our van is we have a new radio and <laughs> um, we got it under warranty actually because when we bought this van um, the radio didn't work and that was included in the warranty so we were able to go to I think it was Halfords we went to and we got ourselves a lovely touchscreen display radio another addition to the van is this shelf here we absolutely love these shelves we get them from ikea i think yep. aren't they i don't know what they're called but we've painted them in the paint color of our 
kitchen cabinets and it's just a great way because we've got a plug up here to charge all of our batteries at the moment we've got gopro batteries charging in here um whereas before we would have them like plugged up here and they'd just be like dangling all over the place and it just wasn't very organized so now we can stay nice and organized another thing that we've added to the van is this bathroom toiletries holder um before all of this stuff used to get wet and then we'd have to dry it and then we'd put it away and now we can just leave it there don't have to worry about it so this is probably one of the best things we've bought and i think we are showing our age when we <laughs> reveal that it is a window vacuum so this is something that we had heard about from a few other people and it basically in the mornings in the van you get condensation on your windows because it's cold on the outside and you're breathing warm air on the inside and most mornings we would get condensation so we'd have to either turn the heater on or leave the windows open which we still do but this is a great tool because you can literally just turn it on and go across the window and it will suck up all the water into this little container yeah. and then we bought this back in November, um, October I think it was because we just got sick and tired of using like a damp a, a wet cloth like a cloth to dry everything and it was just like a wet rag sitting in the van for a few days yeah and we have that with like our tea towels and stuff they get wet and then you have to dry them out so this is a great tool it's called Karcher and it's a water window vacuum so we would highly recommend this another thing that we've added to our entertainment system in the van is this ipad holder which is so cool because we used to just sit here and watch like netflix or whatever and we would always hold the ipad in our with our hands and after a while it's like really annoying to hold the ipad when you're watching something so we now have this handy little holder so we can just sit back relax and eat and then watch netflix so one of the big changes we've made um, in the last few weeks is adding an extra solar panel on the roof um, the two solar panels in winter just weren't cutting it and even the third one still didn't get enough power in but it's much better having three than two and um, now on these sunnier days towards the end of winter it's actually doing much better so to combat this the lack of sunlight and power we've had throughout winter we've actually upgraded our um, alternator charging system and we brought this Renogy 30 amp charger and we were hoping it was going to be a much better system but actually it hasn't really worked so we're actually still discussing and talking with other people about how to replace this and get a better system so we can charge off the alternator because you know even off the solar panels at the moment we're still only getting about three four five amps during the day and it's just not enough to charge and work off the batteries so those are just a few of the upgrades that we've made over winter to make our life a little bit more comfortable and also the electrical system that we're upgrading has just made it a little bit easier to get energy in here to be able to work on the road which has been a bit of a problem so we're hoping to get all those issues sorted and be able to make our experience just a bit better yeah and it's just made our lives so much easier especially because the winter in the uk is really hard to be in a van and we found that firsthand haven't we and from speaking to other people as well that also live in a van over winter it's just it takes its toll on you and all the little things that just make it that little bit easier are so worth it but so. but like days like now where the sun's coming out again and you can feel the days getting longer it's just that that makes all of those winter months so much worth it but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below if you've got any tips or tricks of how you've improved your winter van life experience. And remember that the best comment each week receives one of our van brand new stickers. So yeah, don't forget to like and comment and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.